Bam! How's everybody doing today? It's your boy Buzz HD, and I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna be watching seven more disturbing 911 calls. Yeah, it's gonna be scary as fuck. So guys, if you wanna check the original video, it's gonna be in the description down below. So go ahead and check it out. Yeah, check it out. I send you to go ahead and check it out. And don't forget to like this video, share this video. I'm waiting right now, like this video. I'm waiting. I'm waiting right now. Have you, have you liked the video? You have? Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. So guys, if you wanna watch this video, if you may be sick in the stomach, or maybe you have like a case of like heart attacks, you probably don't wanna watch this video. So go ahead and check my other video out instead of watching this one, because this one, it's gonna be scary. So. If you have a case of heart attacks or you get scared really fast or you have like really weak stomach, you probably don't wanna watch this video. But if you can and you wanna watch this video, let's get to the video. Okay. I mean, you, you know it's gonna be scary if they, if they say that. Yeah. The three digit telephone number 911 has been designated as the universal emergency number for citizens throughout the United States to request emergency assistance. That music is the scary, number in service was established in 1960 and has since become the countrywide household number, receiving 240 million calls per year in the U.S. Damn. With so many calls per A year, lot of people 911 have operators are often have to tackle I mean, very God, chilling damn. situations, producing even more horrific recordings. And sometimes these recordings are leaked to the public. Damn. Ooh. These are just seven of those calls. You guys ready? Let's get Number it. Number seven. This is the recording of a five-year-old girl calling 911 after waking to gunshots and finding her dead mother and dying father in bed. Damn. He said a gunman seeking revenge for drug charges snuck into the family's new oh Smyrna God. Beach home and opened fire. He then killed People himself so in his own home later uh, that day. Why would you do that? The child, Tia Hernlin, described the traumatic scene to the operator in the following call. Hamilton County, 911, Jared. At East Damn, she's a little baby. Um, my daddy and my mom got shot. You can tell she's so scared because of like her voice and everything. Oh my God. My mama and my daddy got shot. Oh. They're um, no. The dude shot him. The dude shot him? What's your address? I don't know. Are you on oh East 13th Street? God. Uh huh. Okay, and what happened? So, wait, she knows where she's okay. living. Like, she, she, she knows where she's staying at. And she's asking her, like, shot. what's your address? Okay, who you, who would who Dog, These with operators you right now? sometimes are so stupid. Like, I don't get it. You know who did it? No, but can you come? What's your name? Why is she asking for a name? Tell the cops to come uh, over. The you? dude is probably still in the house. Five. She's five. Okay, where is your mom and dad at right now? At East Fourteenth Street in the house. they where? Oh my God! At Tell East the cops to come over. At the house. This lady okay, is retarded. You? I'm at home with Bill. You, you, you just you, your mom and your dad is the only one there? Oh my god. Uh huh. And they got shot. Okay, where? Number six. This operator is stupid. She should get fired During for that. During a disturbing 911 call made in 2009, Look at this fucking... Sandra Herald frantically she told the 911 operator to get whatever the police this to her location as soon as possible Damn. due to an attack on her friend, Charla Nash, who at the time was in a gay relationship with her. She went on to explain that it wasn't a person behind the attack she was describing, but Damn. rather her pet chimpanzee. Travis. I know a lot of people actually heard of this Though story. The I've seen, like, I've seen the video. Didn't kill no, Charlotte not the video, Nash. but like the, like her the audio. Her injuries to her eyes, face, it's crazy. hands, it's and scary scalp as were extensive, like, and she experienced major blood loss. In a famous 2009 episode of Oprah, Charlotte Nash appeared on the show to reveal her face, which completely oh. shocked viewers. In the background of the call, you can hear Travis the Chimp screaming face. and making noises that almost seem fake, but everything oh in this recording God. is 100% real. She looks like a fucking alien. Hi. This is Katie. 231 Rock. Rock Pyramid Road. The chimpanzee is attacking the other bitch. Damn. No there. The, the Chimp killed my, my friend. What's the problem with your friend? Oh. 
So wait, hold on. What's wrong with the chimpanzee in the first place? Like, what is the problem? Who's killing your friend? The fucking chimpanzee is killing your friend. This operator, why is okay? Why these operators are so stupid? Like call the cops over, you still asking on this bullshit like, who's killing you, who's killing you, your friend. Someone is killing my friend. Call the cops. Bring the cops over here. Okay, I need you to calm down a little bit. They're on the way. Can you push yourself away? I don't want the monkey attacking you. Please hurry up! Listen to me! they're on the way, ma'am. Damn, this is scary, man. Holy you're there shit. with your friend. I need you to help your friend. Can you go help your friend? I can't. How the fuck is she gonna help her friend when the monkey is attacking her? Yes. Bruh, think about that, man. This motherfucker is so dumb. If the monkey moves away from your friend, let me know, okay? So we can try to help your friend. No, no, I can't. She's dead. She's dead. Why Why are you saying that she's dead? She's dead. He ripped her oh heart. Oh my God. Why is she saying she's dead? Face? Because the chimpanzee just ripped her face off. Ripped That's her why heart. she thinks she's dead. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, no, just breathe, okay? I'm going to stay okay. with you on the phone until they get there. Please, hurry. Please, please, hurry. Number five. Damn. It's more often than not that 911 calls are made by bystanders or victims of circumstance. But there is sometimes that rare occurrence when the person who is calling is they also the one carrying around. out the unthinkable act. This is what happened when Alan Taishin Eugene Lassiter called operators and explained why he threw his three children into a pond in Durham, North Carolina. Alan told the dispatcher that he was dealing with some pedophilic problems and desires that he was trying to get help with, but instead the entire system what? turned its back on him and tried to take his kids away. What? Boy. I don't know. You gotta use the GPS tracker. I just to a oh my, this dude just called the cops and said I just murdered my two fucking kids. What the fuck? All I did was try to go get help. Oh my god. Okay. He was so messed up. I was dealing with some sexual desires that I tried to go get help with. But instead they turned their back on me, the whole system, and tried to take my kids. Yes, yeah, so what, what do you think? They're going to take your kid away because you say you have freaking... Uh, you have issues. Of course, you're gonna take your kids away. They don't want you to hurt your kids. You're gonna take it. You're gonna take them away. So, so you kill them. I don't. There's people are so retarded. You're trying to take your kids away, so you you kill your fucking kids. I don't get it. People are retarded. Yeah, she's gonna be in shock because you just killed your kids. Of course, she's gonna be in shock. His seven-year-old son was able to get away, and his five-year-old daughter was rescued by oh, cops. thank God. But his three-year-old daughter later died from her injuries. Oh, my God. Number four. This following video was uploaded in 2011 by the YouTuber Andrew J. Nice, in which he places a camera by the windowsill to record the man who had apparently been standing outside the, looking up at his window. There like his a phone call to the police is also recorded in full, weirdo, which would look be at... as chilling if it weren't for the fact that we could actually see the disturbing sight that Andrew describes. Hi, yeah, I'm. Uh, the nigga is just standing there. What the fuck? There's this, there's this guy just like standing outside my window. Um, and he's just. Like looking up at the window. That is that is scary as fuck. The dude is just standing there, just looking, yeah, just yeah. looking at the window. What the fuck? Uh, he's he's like looking into the window yeah, for some reason. Like I don't. Yeah, what's wrong male, with uh, maybe about, I don't know, maybe about thirty, I guess. Thirty. Uh, yeah. Um, it's it's in alley. That's my dress is. The nigga is just standing there, man. If he, look, if yeah. it was me, I will get out there and yeah, whoop his just, fucking um, ass. I'm be like, look, dude, what the fuck are you yeah, doing? Why, why are you there? Why are you watching me, nigga? I'll whoop that dude's fucking ass. So it's uh, two forty. I'll whoop his ass. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. And this guy's been yeah. out here for like an hour now. An hour? The, still haven't showed up, so just called <laughs> the dude has been there for an hour. We'll wait and see if they show this time. I'm gonna record this and 
keep a record as I guess maybe video maybe he's like he, maybe he's not like a human being because sure. like just watching the video he's not even moving at all like he's not even turning his head or you no know, like that he just there still like a like a robot Number three the following recording is of a frantic 911 call made seconds before a California family's fatal crash crossing an intersection. The 911 call captured the family's last moments before they were struck in the intersection that they were approaching against their will in August of 2009. Chris Lestrela can be heard saying that there's no brakes and that we're going 120 miles per hour. After uttering the word pray, a woman screams and the call abruptly ends. Damn. Apparently, the gas pedal was stuck and the brakes were out in their Toyota, leaving them completely out of control to slow down or stop the car. God the crash damn. claimed the lives of everybody in the car. Chris oh Lestrela, his brother, God. Mark Saylor, Saylor's wife, Cleofe, and the couple's 13-year-old daughter, Mahala. Oh. 911 emergency, what do you report? That is so fucked up. I'm, I'm sorry, your cell phone's cutting out. We're going north 125. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Okay, northbound 125. Wait, so basically, like, there's something wrong with the brakes or something like that, so they can't stop the car. And you're going 120 miles per hour. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, and you don't have the ability to, like, run the You can't stop the fucking car, man. We're approaching the intersection. Okay. We're approaching the intersection. Hold on, Hello? Oh my god. Number two. God is just chilling. In this truly horrific 911 call, a woman contacts emergency services hysterically describing how her niece, Deisha Watkins, decapitated and stabbed her the three month old child. The bitch don't even look okay. Look at her the face. The woman was too hysteric and grief stricken to look, speak. She don't look so okay, So she turned man. the call over to her People son, like who this, explained not, the horrifying not, scene. Should, they, they, the son not even, refused to go into they the really kitchen, shouldn't be allowed explaining to be that with Watkins' like whereabouts people. were they unknown. Be locked up somewhere. Cops later found the 20-year-old like, mother sleeping and covered in blood. Like, if you killed your kids or something like that, just kill them, kill them. She had apparently lost custody due to mental health issues and committed the act out of rage. Murder, but it was unclear up. how she was able to visit the infants in the first place. Christian Sarna, one more address of your emergency. Somebody please send the police. My niece okay, killed her baby. Oh my God. Please. She sounds so <laughs> scared. <laughs> You were just talking to somebody. Who were you just talking to? My son. He came over here. He found him. I was asleep. I mean, and he had his kids in to go to school because they go from my house. And he seen the baby on the bus. Oh, my God. Help Damn. me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I need you to stop. Stop crying, okay? How's she going to stop crying stop when crying. her niece just fucking murdered her baby? I need, to help. I need you to take a deep breath and tell me what happened. What, what is she not getting? Denise just murdered her daughter. Ma'am, you weren't crying when you, but I heard you talking to him. You were fine. And then when what? I asked you started this crying, this and you just told me what's going on. This fucking is a bitch. I'm outside screaming. What happened? But he keeps telling me to Denise talk. just murdered what happened? her kid. What, what, what is that? What happened? What do you mean what happened? came in here and woke me up and said, Mama, the baby's dead. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm going to jail because she killed this baby. Oh, God. Okay, why, why are you saying she killed the baby? Because she killed a baby. <laughs> because the baby's dead. How old is the baby? Oh, how, okay, the age of the baby doesn't matter in this point. Bring the cops over that what matters. Well, why is she asking for the age of the baby? I don't get it. I don't know. This house is big. I don't know where my little cousin at. So can you please? Where is the three-month-old baby? Oh the, the baby, baby, the baby is on my mama kitchen counter. Oh, this this operator is stupid. The police and okay, is it a male or female? People like this, how the fuck did they even get the job in the first place? If you're asking dumb questions like this instead of sending the cops over, okay, you're stupid, okay, okay. motherfucker. Listen to me. Listen to me. Is the baby breathing? The baby's dead. Oh my, the baby is dead. Okay, okay. all right, we're sending the police and an ambulance. Okay. What is her name, sir? Mama, Josh. Hello. Who is the mother? The Asia. Oh, what is the Asia last name? Watkins. Is Asia she there Watkins. right now? No, I don't know where she's at. That's the problem. I don't know where this little girl is at. 
I don't even know if she in this house. It's a, it's a big house. Like, please. Damn. I'm not, I don't want to look for her. That dude was like, hey, I'm not going to look for her, man. Shit, I'm not. I'm staying right in this motherfucking place. I'm not looking for that bitch. Listen, lady. You can, I cannot explain to you what happened because I do not know. Nobody knows. It happened sometime in the middle of the night. Okay. That's can you, what, what, what do you see when you look at the child? What? Look. The, the kid is dead. The screen is very, very bad. All right, the little lady, the little baby, head is open. Oh. I'm not going in there to touch nothing because I don't want to mess nothing. Oh my God. How would she even do that? It's very violent. It's a very violent thing. All right, it's very violent. All right, sir. We have police and fire department responding out. All right. I gotta go back to the car because my kids is outside. I don't know where this girl is at. Now, Ma, I need you to use it. Don't lock yourself in here. Damn. Because I gotta go out here with them. Number one. But I'm pretty stupid as This fuck, last though. phone call was made by stupid Kevin Cosgrove on September 11th, 2001, in the South Tower. Kevin Ooh. Cosgrove was vice president of claims for Aon Corporation. He was located in the northwest corner of the 105th floor when the plane struck the South Tower. He Damn. became trapped in the office of John Ostaru, which was engulfed in thick black smoke. Cosgrove called 911 on his cell phone and had a five-minute conversation with the operator. But the final moments of the call are what's most disturbing, as the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses. And you can hear Kevin's reaction. Oh, man. <laughs> She crashed on him. Message number 100. Dude. So those were seven more disturbing 911 calls. If you'd like to see part one, I'll leave a link in the description. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Hi. Hello? I, I just came up there. Thank you for saving my time. Oh, you're welcome. Is everything okay at your house? Yeah, I just... Called you on the phone number, so send us your service. Okay, no problem. Have a good day. Oh, uh, that's cute. That's cute. Thank you guys for watching the video today. And don't forget to share this video, like this video, subscribe, and you know, comment down below. Just tell me, like, like what do you what do you think about all these calls? Like, is this is this like how scary were you guys? Cause I was scared. Like, not scary, but I was scared. You know, I was scared as fuck. But tell me in the comments, tell me how, how scared would you, like how scared would you guys? Because I really wanna know. And hey guys, like I said before, share this video, subscribe. For more videos, it's gonna be in the description down below. So if you wanna check my other videos out, you can check it out down there. I'm gonna put the, you know, the, the links in my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And guys, don't forget to check this video out. It's by Mr. Nightmare, wonderful, wonderful YouTuber. Check his videos out. The link to this actual video is going to be in the description down below. So you want to go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and check it out. And I will see you guys later. Peace.
Peace. Are you ready to battle? Now, what the hell did I just miss? Who's that? Yeah. And then Codeine, power level 1500. Dude, Pokemon Go is so fun. They should make Digimon what? Go. That's stupid. Why don't you shut the fuck up, Jerry? Shut the fuck up. Danny, are you playing Pokemon Go? Uh, yeah, you guys.